in this. Pure adrenaline. I needed you awake. Why? There's something coming. In the same direction you came. Something big. Let him go! Put it down. Now. Alice. How excited were you to come back for this franchise? I was super excited, of course. I love Resident Evil and I love playing Alice. I mean, you know, there's... You live your everyday normal life and then you get to go on these amazing sets and see monsters and do incredible stunts and stuff. It was fun. But then of course, like a week before production was supposed to start, I realize I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh man. And suddenly Paul and I are sitting there having to decide, are we gonna do this or not? And we went, no way. You know, if anything happens, you know, the, the nature of action films is that it's dangerous. I mean, no matter how controlled it is, you know, things happen. And I said, if something happened to the baby, we would never forgive ourselves. So it was a big risk that we took, you know? And it was very gratifying to hear that everyone said, okay, congratulations, we'll push it a year. So, you know, it was a bit of a false start. <laughs> yeah. But you were prepared for an extra year then, for it. And, I, you know, it's funny because Paul says it's so good that that happened because he got to work on the script for another year and really got to, um, you know, just think about all the scenes and the action and, and everything. And it was, it was really good for him. Yeah, it becomes pretty clear really early on in this movie that you're gonna learn stuff about Alice that you haven't learned before. You've been playing the character for so long now. Do you get any say in what happens to her or is it all up to the writer? Well, my husband's the writer. Yeah. So, you know, there's always, you know, I always know everything that's happening. But I, you know, at this point we know each other so well. I think, you know, I abused him so much during the first like three movies. Yeah where, you know, it was all like, no, change this, change that. Da, 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 da. And um, I think, you know, now he really knows me and knows what I'm gonna like and, and not like. So, you know, now it's just about, you know, being able to just not read the script right away and yeah. just go, okay, no, no, no. Unless you're completely out of ideas, I want you to write everything, you get it out, and then let me read it when you know you're done, because I can give you like an outside perspective. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of great action scenes in this, but the one where you're hanging upside down is spectacular. Right? What was it like shooting that? Because I imagine it was not the easiest thing it to do. It wasn't, and it's so funny, because when I read the script, that was the first thing I said like, oh my God, the upside down fight is so cool. Can we have like one more of those? <laughs> or something like that. He's yeah. like, you know, something like that. It's not so easy. I wake up at four o'clock in the morning and I get on my computer and you're like, something like that. <laughs> Just write something like that. One thing you don't think about when you're reading like the upside down fight is that it's really hard to stay upside down for very long yeah. before your face turns red. I was hanging upside down, so you know the stunt guys had to like kind of move me up yeah. every minute or so just for me to get the yeah. blood out of my face, and also because you start getting a headache. Yeah, you know it was it, it was a hard sequence to do because of that. I mean, like my ears were pounding. Yeah, and you know, you've, not many actors do to stay with a character this long. Does it make it easier because you've been playing it for so long, getting back into it, or is it a different kind of process than usual? You know, I think it's a little of both. I mean, definitely playing Alice, it, it's funny because I said, you know, now I'm really good at playing Alice, and it's done. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what do I do now with this talent? Like, I'm really yeah. good at this, and it's over. Like, what am I, what am I gonna, you know? Like, I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out. But, you know, I think that's one of the, the, the challenges, I guess, of being an actor and, and, and playing a part or being on a TV show for many years. It's like, you get really good at doing something. Mm -hmm. And then how are you, you know, how am I gonna use my Alice powers? <laughs> <laughs> well, I imagine In the supermarket. Her, it's pretty good. <gasps>